Jeanette Chong, and welcome to New Hive Tonight, a new program that explores bees who aren't satisfied with their seemingly preordained lot in life, and now struggle to change their fortunes. The reason this is a new program, of course, is because, well, no bee has ever really done it before. Until now, tonight, the bee who brought the insect and human worlds together. He's touched our hearts and our venom bladders. Barry B. Benson. Thanks for having me. You know, you're shorter in person than you look on TV. I'm told the camera adds five millimeters. Barry, your face is everywhere. T-shirts, posters, books. Your mug is on a mug, for bee's sake. There's even a video game. I hadn't heard about the video game. It's both challenging and entertaining. So tell us, where did your hero's journey begin? Well, as you know, Jeanette, aside from having to break your way out of a wax cocoon at birth, college is one of the most challenging times in a young bee's life. Yes, I remember. I went to BU. Oh, yeah, me too. Well, well, it really is the only school. Go, Go BU. BU. Anyway, Jeanette, it all started for me the day after graduation. I was really trying to figure things out. I see. Take us back, Barry, to that first day. Roll it, Hal. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Gotta go. What? No breakfast? No, thanks. I don't want to be late. I can't believe this day has finally arrived. My boy is going to work at Hunnex. Wait till the girls at the nail place hear my Barry graduated BU with straight Bs. None of their sons graduated with straight Bs. Now go down there, son, and show them you're a Benson. Don't do that! Your father didn't leave on good terms! For the millionth time, <sighs> Janet, I did not steal those post-its. Bye, guys. Oh, Martin, will you stop it? What do I need with boxes and boxes of post-its? Welcome to Hunnix, making honey the same tried and true way our ancestors did for the last five million years. Honey is brewed here 24-7, 365 days a year. What about leap year? Every four years on February 29th, all workers are treated to a free spa day, followed by a concert in the park. Wow, really? No, just kidding. We make honey that day, too. Oh.
inbound. Hello, I'm here with Barry B. Benson. You know, that was amazing, Jeanette. It was really almost like being there. Well, we are broadcast in BHD. It has twice the stripes of BTV. Wow, twice the stripes. Now, Barry, just to give our viewers some background, had you ever been outside the hive before? Oh, no. So what happened? What led you to that first day outside? Well, Jeanette, there comes a time in every bee's life when he has to ask himself what he's made of. Is there something more? So you had an itch? Well, I'm not sure it was an itch exactly. There was definitely some tingling, bordering on a Jones, but a little short of a yen. A Jones? A Jones led you to risk it all to fly with the pollen jocks? Jones, yen. Because you know, I'd heard this all started as a dare. Really? A dare? Hmm. You know, why don't I tell your viewers a little bit about the outside? Please, tell us what you saw that first day. It's been said that just a mere sight of the outside can drive a bee mad. Oh, that's just an old wasp's tail. But it is big and loud. And, well, there is danger around every corner. And don't get me started on the rain. Did you say rain? Pouring rain, crazy rain, and wild animals, and humongous cars, and humans. Humans as far as the eye can see. But other than that, well, let me show you. Uh, Hal, can you roll that? Thanks. You know, I'm going with there. Really? Why? It's in my notes. Oh. Listen up, boys. We got ourselves a doozy of a mission, and it needs to be completed ASAP. Oh, I see recruiting standards are getting more lax every day. What's your name, Bug Juice? Barry B. Benson, sir. Ah, uh, he's with us, Lou. We'll keep an eye on him. All right, let's go over the basics one more time. We got a rain advisory today, and no matter what some of you hotshots might think, bees cannot fly in the rain. As always, remember, dogs, birds, frogs, hockey sticks, tennis rackets, brooms, and rolled-up magazines are not your friends. Oh, and absolutely no talking to humans. Make me proud, boys. Oh, nose petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you drain those flowers. Launch! Take evasive action. Oof. <sighs> Watch out for the kites, boys! Yeah! Wow! Okay, boys, switch to the Delta Hex Niner formation. Pick in your afterburners, we're going in! No problem. We're gonna take ourselves a little shortcut through the pond. Watch out for frogs, boys. Those tongues are a first-class ticket to Lunchville. Okay, we got us a jumper. Watch out! All accounted for. Glad we didn't lose anyone back there. Thanks a lot for that one. Wow, what a view! Pathetic. Are you kidding? It's so beautiful, it's like a movie. It doesn't look real. I meant you. You want to be a pollen jock? Then where's your pollinator? How are you going to collect the pollen, genius? Stuff it in your pockets? Oh, sorry. Do you know where I can get? There! 
Now you're a real bee. Wow, you know it's heavier than it looks. If you do your job right, it's about to get a whole lot heavier. Great. I'm Splits, and I've been assigned to handle your basic pollen jock training. Let's start by focusing your attention on the icon floating above that flower. Use the B button to lock onto the flowers. To draw in the pollen, use the A button. Dum -de dum 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 dum. Toggle to the next flower by using the control stick. See the glow coming out of this flower? This means it's full of pollen and ready for harvesting. To draw in the pollen, use the A button. Watch this meter to see how much pollen you have. If you can't extract any more pollen, your tank is probably full. Bring this wilted flower back to full health by spraying fresh pollen on its withered petal. Use the your pollination training. Alright, that's enough for one day. Your brain will explode. Go pollinate some more, rookie, and watch out for those nasty dragonflies. Done. You're ready for your first mission. Go pollinate five wilted flowers. Get to it. Sweet. Dum 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 La la la. Nice work, kid. Now you easy easy. Dum de dum 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 de dum dum dum. Pollinator can do more than just gather and distribute pollen. Let's take a look at its offensive capabilities.
Remember, you can shoot pollen at the enemy from a distance, but if you do, that increases your chance of being spotted. Sweet! To target, point the Wii Remote at the screen and blast the balloons with the air. Sweet! Just received a report that a pack of dragonflies has been spotted. Spray them while you're at it. Ugh. That's one down. Good start out there. Two down and one to go. Sweet. Sweet! Use your surroundings to get rid of your assailants, like any branches you see sticking out. Super! Now dash through the web, go! Chalk up number four! Venus flytrap ahead! Sweet! Quick! Here's a branch! Pull it back and snap it back in his face! Ta-da! No problem! Yeah! Easy beasy! I'm beat. Already? You ain't seen nothing yet! We got trouble! Attention to all jocks! Dragonflies have entered the airspace! Come on, follow me! It's time for some action! Okay, you've completed your training and it couldn't have come at a moment too soon. Take a look, an entire swarm of dragonflies is headed our way! Oh, that Chang, that's five! Doing great, but keep it up. Way to go. Wow, you're a natural. Follow me.